Hi, Cyberspheres here, back with another Ordinal Markup video, episode 55, and it's been a long time since last episode. I have 550 trillion factor boosts, which is like, it's like 20 times more than I've had ever before. And I was actually, one of the first things I was going to do is I was waiting to distribute all cardinals until now, because, yeah, look at this. I was at, I think, 386 million factor boosts per second. Now I'm at 400 million factor boosts per second. So that's one exciting thing. Another exciting, th unfortunately I can't get a singularity level out of that, but another exciting thing, I mean, okay, I can't do that, but the other exciting thing I was, I was going to do is I was going to turn off my factor boost auto procedure to try to get as much incrementing as possible, because with all the factor boosts, this may really help. So, let's see, I can get like maybe 103, 104, 105, 106. Let's see, E120 incrementing. This actually isn't doing all that much. I thought it was going to do more. I could get the double the production of incrementing upgrade, but it's still probably going to take 5 to 10 minutes. I'm not sure if I really want to do that. Also, if you hear some like static noise, it's because of the. Um, fan, my CPU fan, I actually got an app that I could control the fan with because previously my CPU was, I mean, yeah, it was getting really hot. It was like 87 degrees Celsius and the fan was at idle. So I'm like, okay, I need to get something so I can actually control it because whatever the automatic system's doing, I, I don't, I don't like that. So I've now made it that the fan will go full speed when the CPU is at 75 degrees Celsius. So... Yeah, and I'm I'm doing that, and also I think I do want to get this doubler, because yeah, I, I I'll do it. That's not that's not an explanation, but whatever. Okay, finally I now have enough incrementing to get this upgrade. I know, and here it is. I am I have I usually don't show this, but this is the last episode, so yay. That that's why my CPU is going crazy. So yeah, just just saying that, and now. I think at this point, I am I could try to push to this E125, but I'm not going to do it. I think a better idea is to just collapse right now. I mean, first, you just get the factor boost auto procedure on and then get to a decent singularity level. So, honestly, I, I want to go even below 90, so like maybe 75, and then I want to collapse for Cardinals because what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to collapse twice because. Even though this collapse will give me more cardinals than I've ever gotten before, the next one is going to be way better. So it's because it's just the weird thing way how like the faster collapse is better and how I keep 10% of factor boost on collapse. That means I will keep five or I'll have about 55 trillion factor boosts on the next collapse. So here we go. Here's the first collapse, and then here's the second collapse. E37, 9 E37 cardinals. That's enough to get a bunch of singularity levels right there. That's enough. If I just go, if I just put half of it into the olive upgrades, it's not enough to unlock challenge 9 yet, but I'm, I'm close. First thing I'm going to want to do is just get, yeah, two more singularity levels. I can probably get another one um, if I just wait a little bit. And I can now get actually more factor boosts per second because of these additional singularity levels, I think. I think it's because of the singularity levels. And I could try to do some Omega Challenge stuff. Not really sure. It's also the Cardinals here, just getting these multipliers up really helps. So you can see I'm at 434 million. I'm so close to 500 million at this point that I, I'm really tempted to do that, but I probably should just go for challenge 9 instead. What I can do, I, I can now get the one more singularity level. Okay, I need, I need to, unfortunately I need to do this one more time. One more singularity level. Um, okay, here we go. 445 million factor boosts per second. And, yeah, the singularity levels don't even do that much. It's really just the more, the better olive powers that are helping way more. So, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait it's not that much of a time wall, but I'm going to wait until I can get 3.4 E38 Aleph Omegas, which means I need about E39 in here, 
with two E36 Cardinals per second, I'll be able to get E39 in about maybe seven, eight minutes. So, yeah, seen a bit. I also, I forgot to try Baseless Milestone 4. I really don't think it would be that, is that it was that big of a deal, but probably should have done it. The reward would have been automatically get incrementing and Dark Manifold upgrade without without losing incrementing. Max cost of E600 incrementing. I, I'm no, don't really sure, not really sure what that means. Maybe that's, oh, I think that just means I can get the incrementing upgrades and then, but like it doesn't spend my incrementing. I think that's all it's saying. So, yeah, I just have to wait for the for this. Okay, finally, I have 3.41 E38 of all the Cardinals, and I'm looking at my factor boost per second, and I really feel like if I was given, if I was just waiting a day, I could easily reach 500 million factor boost per second. I'm at 460 million, and if I just get more Cardinals, it just keeps going up. But I think what I want to do, I want to unlock Challenge 9 at this point. And Singularity 85 is still the most efficient Singularity. So what I'm going to do, just get this until I can get Challenge 9 on. Honestly, I, I even want to do this to see... Okay, okay it's still 462 million. I thought, I thought this would have maybe really helped, but no. But anyway, I mean, I, I, I can just max this. But anyway, Challenge 9, which means I get another achievement. These challenges aren't dimensions. Uh, which one is that? It has, one of, it has to be one of these. It's this one. By all of upgrade 10. So, this means, yeah, there's a whole new challenge to face. It says, time is 1E15 time slower, and you cannot enter this challenge. You know, mega challenges. And there is no goal. So, what am I supposed to do? I guess I'll enter the challenge. There's no penalty for doing it. Current run, it's current factor boost, and I'm getting millions of factor boosts per second. So... Let's see, what am I even supposed to do? I have zero ordinal points. Probably should click. Yeah, I need, I need to click to do anything. And this is so slow that... Okay, I'll, I'll just use the enter trick. Um, I think... Okay, I just want to get um, the factor shifts. There's base 5. Here's base 4. Base 3. And there's an achievement. Collapsing challenges. This one, reach the Backman Howard ordinal in any any challenge. So, interesting. Now what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to factor shift? Maybe I just have a wrong singularity level? Um, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Is this going to give any reward? I don't feel like that did anything. I feel like that just didn't... What, what am I supposed to do? All it did is give an achievement. That's it. Okay, I just looked at the guide, and it said it's very useful for farming incrementing because of a certain booster upgrade that only has an effect in odd challenges. Dynamic factor is squared. So that means I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go back into the challenge. I I really didn't know what this is, what this is about, but I guess it's about farming incrementing. So let's just get these... Um, Get this going, and get this, and now I should check incrementing. Here it is, E130. So what I did before the incrementing was useless. So this is enough to get a couple of manifolds. This is um, one, two, three. That's three manifolds. That's enough to get another achievement. Red card have 26 manifolds. Probably should increase the singularity level to like 100 something, and that will help me get even more incrementing. Here's here's probably another manifold with what I have here, E135 incrementing will definitely will definitely help with some things. So all this is really doing is just giving me a couple more singularity levels, and I guess that's pretty good. Um, it's, it's and that's five singularity levels right there. Um, so I, I guess that's good. It doesn't seem like the most useful thing ever, but it, it seems relatively useful. It's not really going to do anything else. I could try to do a singularity function build that works better, but I I don't really need decrementing or like all of no multiplier divides the challenge eight goals. I don't really need any of that. I think what I have currently is the best. I could try to get one more manifold, um, which would be one more singularity level, but I'm 
Really not sure. Maybe I should just get the E138. Maybe my singularity level is too high currently. Um, no, it wasn't. So I get, I could go for the E138 upgrade. I probably will do that. It could help in Omega challenges. But I think what I really want to do is just try to get more of just the Cardinals. And also, I'm yeah, since time is slower, I'm, all, I'm getting way less Cardinals. And I'm getting way less Olive Power. And I'm going to definitely want that Olive Power if I want to actually get the 500 million factor boost per second. So this is certainly interesting. Of course, I needed to check the guide because... Everything in ordinal markup is like they don't tell you any hints about the challenges, but whatever. I, I maybe I should be looking at more tabs. Whatever. Here's the next upgrade here, and I think I just want to exit the challenge because I, I mean, I could go for the next challenge eight, but I'm really, I mean, I I keep trying this. I maybe with this, like the additional incrementing, actually incrementing does nothing. But at least I have some more singularity levels. And now I really need to get the singularity down to a better... Actually, here it is. 500 million factor boosts per second. I didn't think that would actually help. But it did. So, um... Well, I was planning to save Omega Challenges 4 through 6 for episode 56. But, I yeah, I'll just save it for that. So, hope you enjoyed... Peace out.